If you blink driving down Highway 95, you might just miss it, but the old mining town of Searchlight is a gold mine of history. And then there's a guy with a torch walking up to it. Oh, what was that? What the hell was that, dude? One more time. It sounds like it's coming from where we just were now. I'm telling you, I think your nose is like a motherfucker. What the hell's with the ground? G'day YouTube, this is Mott from the Black Collar Project and I am at the Searchlight Cemetery in Searchlight, Nevada. Now this was established in 1906 and there's about 250 or so people buried here. The reason why this place is so haunted is back in 1960, a plane tried to take off and actually crashed in the cemetery. It killed the pilot on impact and dispersed numerous bodies. Locals have said that they have seen a man in Victorian attire walking around the cemetery at night and also a lady dressed in white weeping over a child's grave. People that have investigated this location have seen apparitions, experienced disembodied voices, also shadow figures, and they've heard weeping coming from within. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for further updates, and let's see what we can find. Rock and roll. Think about me one more time before you go. I've been feeling this way for far too long And now you're gone Took me away from all of my fears So in 1897, George Colton founded this town. Now, they said that he would need a searchlight to find gold, hence the reason why this place is called Searchlight, but he did find gold and about $7 million worth. Now, this was booming back in 1907. They found a lot of gold here. There's still gold in the hills and there's remnants of an old mine up here, which is called the Duplex Mine. That's one hell of a shirt there. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I got Mike with me tonight. And uh, guys, you can check out his channel. He's got great content. I'll leave it in the description. Uh, we are here at Searchlight Cemetery and I'm just uh, uh, looking over the grave here of Bonnie Robertson. This is a particular area where the woman in white is seen. Is she weeping over the baby? True. Was it the mother? Who knows? True. Oh, what the hell was that? I don't know. This place is known for uh, the Reed family, they're buried here. Now Harry Reed was a senator and uh, he was the last one to pass away recently. He was the longest serving Nevada senator. There's a lot of Reeds buried right here. We're gonna try to find where he's located. The man scares me. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. So we're searching for the man dressed in Victorian attire, said to be George Colton. So you can see the way that they do the graves here in the West. Um, in these old western towns, it's all a lot of rocks and quartz and marble and all sorts of stuff. George Colton, you're seen around here. We're here. We're here. You're seen around here quite often. A lot of the people that have come here and investigated and explored this location late at night have seen you walking through the cemetery. You founded gold here in 1897. You put searchlight on the map. You know, searchlight at its time during 1907 and 1910 yeah it was the backbone of the economy as well as goldfield nevada and yeah also, i know goldfield was yeah you know goldfield yeah um searchlight in the southern part of nevada you can see the way that these graves are here it's basically just people that have put a whole lot of rocks up it's not me it's not you george colton what would you be uh why would you have any interest in being in this location sir you can see these ones here guys this is a uh, Edith Reed and Wait, was that yours that said Christian? Uh, yours, I think. Oh, okay, because I was like, if you're sitting in my city, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> the section in which the uh, plane crashed in the cemetery 
is, is just over there. There's a plaque with all the names on it. The bodies that were dispersed, um, there's a plaque over there and there's a section where there's uh, they're all their names because they didn't know who the hell was who, Mike. And this is the reed section here, a lot of reeds. Pretty uh, different feel around here, isn't it? It feels like this is a quieter part of the cemetery. Yeah. Like I as agree. much as there's stuff going on out there, well, guys, they're playing um, the music. Leonard Skinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is so a jam. unfortunately, it is what it is with that. Um, there's a rowdy bunch out here. So I've got the uh, old uh, faithful EMF tester. I'll put it down here. We'll try to communicate with. Uh... Many died here. Damn. Wow. That's crazy. And you know the thing is, there was one person that actually died. The pilot. Um, the work that your uh, Mr. Harry Reid did for um, Nevada. And there's some coyotes. Coyotes, I hear them. In the distance. The work that you did for the uh, community. Where is... We're following you. Oh, wow. <sighs> Trying to bring out the knife. <laughs> wow. Wow, you're getting all sorts of stuff going on there. Is that... That's beeping. I don't know why. Okay. This location is really creepy at night because it's kind of away from the town a little bit. And there's a whole lot of coyotes around and uh, it kind of gets you on edge. So you're already on edge when you enter this cemetery. Yeah, you can see that all the family is here. I love these old cemeteries just to come and explore, even just to come and check out during the day. It's not far off the 93, so it's not far from Vegas, about 40 minutes. George Colton, you want to show yourself for me, please? A lot of people, Mike, they were really against him. They thought that he was a bit of a nut because he ain't, he ain't going to find gold. Right? right, right. They're like, come on, man. You ain't going to find any gold in the middle of freaking nowhere. Right. Like he pulled $7 million out of here. So he punked them. <laughs> yeah. And That's he it. showed them. He said, you know what? I said, I'll show you guys. They're like, you need a searchlight to find gold. Right. That's, That's what, pretty G, That's dude. why it's called searchlight. That's pretty G. Yeah. So this guy ended up making out like a bandit. Mr. Uh, Colton, you're welcome to... Use this device to try to communicate. You can set it off. Give us a spike. Anyone. Anyone. Is there a particular area in the cemetery that you would like us to go to? There's three individuals here. The lady in white. So... People that have come up here to maintain this cemetery, he did die. People that have come up here to maintain this cemetery at night time, which I don't know why you would come and maintain the cemetery at night. They've actually approached this woman and uh, she's disappeared. So, you know, it's just a story from what the locals have said. And, uh, you know, that's what we go on. We go on that sort of stuff. And uh, that's what we, we're for. We're, we come here to try to communicate with these spirits. We're not going to manufacture anything. We're not going to say that this place is demons bullshit and i wish paranormal teams would stop doing it so about 250 people that are buried here mike uh -huh. now that's not including the people that were dispersed right when the plane crashed and landed right so you can see this one here it's just an old rock that someone's used as a headstone it's just an old rock it's beautiful though yeah yeah you save money right make your own when i was here last time a bad spirit oh, oh wow, wow. Was he a bad man? Was George Colton, were you a bad man? I mean, the community looked at, looked at him as a bad man. Right. You know, because he was making all the money. He was one of the elites, you know. He was yep. uh, pissing it up and yep. in Goldfield. And uh, the duplex mine is just not far up here, actually. And it's still standing. When I was here last time, I seen a... Where the, where the little child's grave is, over there, there's a section there for the family. Right. We seen something there. It was like a shadow figure. I was with someone else at the time. And uh, we've seen something, and I think the other YouTuber caught that on tape. Insist, uh, the old spirit talker, it says insist. So this area here is where we saw a uh, mist like, it was like a black mist almost, Mike. It oh, was really? Hard. Yeah, it kind of went from left to right, and we believe it is a child's grave, so let's have a look over here. And this is where we caught it right here. Look at the age, 1947 to 1947. See guys, one year old. Now Mike, when we were facing that way, yeah, we were looking, 
and then we caught it. It went from left to right. Really? Yep. All right, so uh, we're going to go over here. There's some really fascinating grave over here. It's got like a Tin Man or something like that on it. It's really, really cool. The good thing about these graves is there's so much character. You won't sort of see this stuff on the on the East Coast, the way that they uh, display everything. That guy was a miner, I would assume so, being the uh, pick and the shovel. Lynette. It's kind of like a built up with rocks. Yeah. So this one here is that little tin man here, see? Oh yeah, see. You see tin man. What does it say on there? Look for the angel in your life. All right, so this uh, particular person here has got a uh, rope and a horseshoe and the two boots at the footstone or the foot of the grave. So it kind of tells a story, right, Mike, when you think about it? Did you hear that? Are you hearing stuff as yeah, well? I'm hearing, yeah, I'm hearing like a door or something. The people that are out here in this area, they're awfully strange. There's a lot of meth heads out here. I'll be honest with you. In these little desert towns, they come out here and they kind of, people turn a blind eye to them. See the car over there? Yeah. This is the sort of stuff I'm talking about, guys. Just random shit. Like just look, just got the lights on and just sitting there. And then there's a guy with a torch walking up to it. That is random. So yeah, we'll go over to where the uh, where the location is where the uh, plane crashed. These are all the unidentified, unmarked graves from the crash. This particular location is where the plane crashed. So back in 1960, they tried to take off. There was just the pilot on board. Um, luckily, there was nobody else, and he couldn't get to, to speed. And unfortunately, standing right here is where uh, it came down and crashed. It killed the pilot. Now, this was the first location in which the Tide to Death Challenge was made, and definitely some crazy responses that night, as well as rocks being thrown. So we are gonna do the Estes method over here later on in the video, so stick around. So what sort of uh, feeling do you think you're getting in here? That so noise is, is right. still that noise is still freaking this me out. This is impact zone. Oh, is it? Yeah. Damn, this is where I heard the noise yeah. too. This is impact zone. Damn. So you can see that basically there's a few here. They got no names. There's one here that managed to avoid being destroyed, or they might have rebuilt that one by the looks of it. Right. And then all these other ones here. All right, so we have the Echo Vox going on, and we have the Flux, we have a Cat Ball, the K2s, two K2s, and uh, we're gonna ask some questions here and try to communicate with George Colton. What year did you discover gold, sir? Gold. I heard that. It said gold. That undertone. The deeper voice. We're looking to listen to hear about what he says. Right. So we've we've come from Las Vegas. Apparently, the town said back in the days, the people said you needed a searchlight to found gold. You proved them wrong. How much gold was discovered here? He's trying to come through. I have a device here which you can use behind me where the reed grave is here. You can set that off. We can ask you questions if you want. You can set it to green or to red, yes or no. Are you still here attached to this town? Oh, what was that? What the hell was that, dude? That sounded like a pig or some shit. Did what you hear that? that? Dude, it sounded like... That was eerie. That was an animal, definitely. That was a grunt. Yeah, yeah, that was like a... Like fucking... George, is that you? Mr. Colton. Is this where Harry Reid is buried? Right here? 
this unmarked grave. Now it dropped literally about 10 degrees. It is cold through here. Now where I'm standing right now is where the reed plot is. George Colton, don't be afraid. You're a very tough man. You came all the way across the country in search of gold and you found it. You did a great job. Why don't you come up to Mike? You want to approach Mike? Tell him how successful you were. You know, George Colton never got his hands dirty. He was a businessman. That's pretty badass. Yeah, but obviously everybody did the work for him. You want to turn a light on anywhere in the cemetery? There's little lights. You want to make one of them go on for us? I'm waiting for that flux to go off over there. You want to sit down? You must be tired. Walking around the cemetery here at night. Is there a particular reason that you're here? Sir, Mr. Colton. I've cut the noise now. How about those footsteps, sir? All I can hear is Guns N' Roses. Right. So we're just trying to set up this shot here for when we do the Estes method. And we've heard the grunt again. Or whatever the hell it is. And I've just heard more noise over there. It's always the back of the damn cemetery, right? It is. It's always like where you, where you can't see or... It's always like on the outer skirts or something like that. Maybe it is an animal, I don't know, but this particular location was where the plane crashed. So we're gonna set Mike up here. We're just walking over to where the, uh, we're gonna do the SDs method and it sounds like there is a car. Is it traveling around for no lights? I thought they getting dragged, no? If they're driving around, they're driving around for no lights. Weird. That's fucking weird. Just keep an eye on that, alright? Yeah. Seriously. Strange shit in a strange little town. Yep. But uh, you just gotta watch yourself out here in these little towns. If you do come out to searchlight, just be careful out here. Um, there is some weirdos. We're pretty much in the mountains, you could say, really. Nothing out here. Town's off in the distance, but not too far away from the town, but cemetery is very isolated. Right where the plane came down, crashed, and dispersed all these bodies. We had... There's a lot of unmarked graves here, there's a lot of lost souls. Anything you'd like to say? Want to make it? Two. Two. Two people, two spirits. Why don't you come up and make another noise for us? The war. You were in the war, sir. Thank you for your service. You threw a rock before, you want to do it again? One more time. One more time? Yep. Well, you can throw it one more time. Soon. Stock. You back there? You want to come closer? Yes, you do. You do want to come closer. This is impact Just. zone. Just. Doors. So guys, I keep on hearing the grunt. There were no pigs around here in Nevada. Bye. There's no wild pigs. It's very, very unusual to hear wild pigs. Search. It's kind of unsettling. And footsteps all around us. 
This is one of the eeriest cemeteries that I have been to. As it gets darker, people around go to bed. From there. He's getting a lot of activity through that SP7. If you're back there, you're welcome to come this way. You're welcome to come and approach us. I know you're somewhere around here. All these people here, unmarked graves. Grace. To say graves. Now, ball, extra. It sounds like it sounds like rustling, but then the, the odd sort of sound of like gravel moving and. Who do you? There's definitely someone walking over there. Wait. What's up? There's people walking over there. Oh, is there? It's gotta be. I'm gonna check it out. We have to check it out because there's some, too much noise going on over there, man. Bro? Yeah. There's too much noise going on. No, because when you were doing your intro, I'm telling you, I heard a bunch of shit. And that was when it was still light. Corner over there. It's just too much to be. There's too much going on for it to be. Just wind. Right. When you were sitting there doing that Estes method the whole time, it's just. Oh, you're hearing just oh, noises? It's ridiculous. Like, it's like like people walking around. Yeah, that's, that's what I was hearing too. It's really sounding like people walking around. And it's just so damn dark, Mike. Yeah, you can't see nothing. I mean, the camera, the camera is struggling. <laughs> right, <laughs> it's right. To the point where the camera is kind of. Wigging out oh, sometimes. A little raking stuff. Yeah. And now we got the camera running back there. So if anything comes up. It sounds like it's coming from over there again now. It sounds like it's coming from where we just were now. It's weird, man. Dude, I hear whispering. Yeah. Like the people were like trying to whisper, like hide yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go head off to another location just down the road, about half a mile away, an old house that's been boarded up for quite some time. And uh, now we can get into it and have a look. Apparently a man passed away in that in that house, so it's kind of pretty creepy, creepy vibes from the street. But we're gonna go and check it out and uh, bring you guys along with us. So thank you for sticking around. This place was pretty creepy. Searchlight Cemetery. See you soon. All right, guys, so now we're about to go inside the house where the man passed away, and we're going to quickly check it out. And this place has been sealed up for quite some time, so um, we're going to go in and try to uh, use the spirit box and see if we can communicate with the man that passed away in here. Pretty creepy, creepy vibes going on right now. We'll get in and out and do it quickly, all right? So thanks for sticking around, guys. Let's go into this place, check it out. Look how old that fridge is, mate. Damn. That's like from the 50s, man. That goes to show how long this place was boarded up for. Oh. It was boarded up There's for. There's some shit over here, dude. Really? Yeah. Where? Over here. Like, what's over there? Huh? I heard some shit over there. I just said get out, didn't I? I heard some shit over here, dude. Oh, yeah. you hearing that? Yeah, that's what I heard. Anybody over there? Oh, cold rush. Big cold rush through the door here. Whoa. Down. Anybody in here? Hello? 
Oh, that cold rush. Yeah. Would you like to uh, move something in here for us? The old man that passed away in here. What room did you pass away, sir? Would you like to uh, lead us to the room? You want to make a knock or something for us? You can communicate with the SP7 if you want to. Oh, wow, this room here. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. I'm getting a weird feeling in here, man. Yeah, me too. Oh. What's on the bed? I heard noises. There's a, like an old camera on the bed. Huh? There's an old camera on the bed. <gasps> I'm telling you, I keep hearing noises like a motherfucker. Is this the room that you passed away in, sir? I don't want to have my back to that door. Yeah, that, that's why I came in here. Yeah. I was scared. Oh, this is like literally a time capsule. It's been untouched. Did you pass in here? Hello? Yeah. Look at this old piano. That is probably worth a fair bit. I mean, there's another bedroom here. Kids' bedroom. Watch your back. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like definitely something you see out of a horror movie. Definitely. Don't you agree? Oh yeah, definitely. Especially all the, that that last room has some really messed up vibes. This room doesn't feel as bad. The energy in here. Yeah, the other one did. I think it's because I was hearing those noises. That's why. From the back. Yeah, from the back. That's another bedroom there. You can use that device to try to communicate if you want to. Come through on the uh, spirit box, we'd love to hear you. We heard that you passed away in this house a long time ago, and this place has been boarded up ever since. Here's a TV. Time magazine. What year? 81. 81. That's crazy. How many years was that? That was before I was born. I was born in 87, I'm 36. So, so I'm not telling my, well, yeah, I'm not I don't know my age away. <laughs> Man. American flag. The old iron, look, the old iron. What the hell, look at that light. What the hell is that on the wall there? I mean, that's before my time. Is that some sort of fucking... I don't know what that is. That's a light. Oh, shit, it's a bit funky in here. Is that an iron thing? What's back it? there? It's an old school iron. Wow, this place is freaking awesome. Look at these old newspaper articles here or whatever it is. There's a room back there, I don't know. Maybe you can get in there, Mike. It's like a kitchen here. Oh. Some, some weird ass vibes in here. What room? Back in that, next to that. Next to that. Kitchen. Man. And then the thing about this place is nobody's come in here and destroyed it. Yet. That's where I was hearing a noise before. Wow. Holy crap. Look the old wallpaper. This thing's crazy. This has got to be like the 50s, right? Mike, this shit has to be like the 50s, man. What's that? This has got to be like the 50s. Yeah, I know. 50s or 60s. Look at that, the way that that sink is, man. Oh, shit.
That's another kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Look at the spices up there. I wonder how old they are. Damn. In here's a lot warmer, but I got that cold rush at the beginning. Yeah. Coming through the house. It's almost like something left when we came in. Right. Like it went out really quick. Right. Sir, you probably haven't had anybody come through here in a long time. Nothing coming through. Said something there. Someone said, "How much for the Airbnb?" How much for the Airbnb? <laughs> well, <laughs> you could stay for free. There's a dirty mattress. Yeah. What's, in, what's in the fridge? That's what I want to know. It is nothing. Nothing. There's a crutch there. <gasps> Turn that off. Turn it off. Didn't it kind of sound like the things from the cemetery? Yeah, like a grunt again. Yeah, a grunt. What the hell's with the grunt? You hear it? What the hell's that? That's what I mean, move it back. I heard like I heard like a plastic bag or something. Sounds like the house is like moaning or something. Yeah, yeah. Like the house is speaking or something. This is a great find. It is. Imagine if it played the piano. Dude. <laughs> that would be too much right there. It is crazy. I can't believe people haven't come here. They had this boarded up for so, so long. So everything's just kept like trapped in a time time bubble almost like a yeah. capsule, a time capsule. This spring here, it's like they grabbed all their stuff really quick and they left, you know. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys, here in Searchlight, Nevada, at the cemetery and at this house. Um, for 200 likes, we're going to come back here. So make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up and push the notification bell. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Pretty crazy sort of night. I love to come back here and check this place out in the dark. So once again, guys, I'd like to thank you for your support. Much appreciated. We're back into filming again, trying to find haunted locations throughout Nevada. Like always, guys, we don't know where we're going to be next, but you'll find out soon. Cheers, dingoes. I sent you.